Hi there! Here is 2023's newly launched Xiaomi TV X series. The variant you can see here is a 65 inch 4K TV running the Google TV OS and is priced at just 58,999. I can see 65 inch now becoming the preferred size for those thinking of buying a big smart TV. Of course, the X series is also available in other sizes 55 inch, 50 inch, and 43 inch. In fact, all are very aggressively priced too. All sizes have the exact same specifications and features and moreover a very similar experience. Yes, there's everyone's favorite patch wall and now even the all new patch wall plus where you can watch over 200 plus free to air channels without a setup box. So cool. I've been using this TV for just about a day. I'll quickly take you through an unboxing and share my initial impressions so you can decide if you should buy the Xiaomi TV X series or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging. You can see the Xiaomi TV X series branding in the center. Some key features are mentioned below. 4K Ultra HD, Vivid Picture Engine, Dolby Vision, Wide Color Gamut, 30 Watt Speakers, Patch Wall, Chromecast and OK Google Support. On the side is an MRP of 89,990, the contents of the box and all the manufacturing details. Yes, it's made in India. Now Xiaomi has clearly mentioned it on the box, do not open or it will void the warranty. So wait for the authorized engineer to visit, they will unbox it and set it up for you. Inside the box is the TV itself, then you have this quick installation guide, the warranty card at the back, there's a power cable, two plastic stands, very basic, nothing fancy but still solid and has rubber at the base so it should provide a good grip on the table. Four screws to fix those stands, two AAA batteries for the remote, finally Xiaomi has started including batteries. And everyone's favorite, the Xiaomi TV remote. It has the same minimalistic design. This is a Bluetooth slash infrared remote, very minimalistic buttons, power button, Google Assistant button, D-pad to navigate, patch wall button, back button, home button, shortcut keys for Netflix, Prime videos, Disney Hotstar, YouTube, and volume button. If you want to mute the TV, you double press the volume down button. Simple and convenient. So we have fixed the stands and placed it on the table. The display comes with a plastic film protecting the panel from scratches or damage. Make sure it's gently removed before you use. Alright, there you go. Super clean modern design. The frame is made of metal and comes in this matte black finish and is extremely slim. The bezel-less design gives this TV a very premium look. The lower bezel is also quite slim with Xiaomi branding in the center. The stands are plastic, they look decent but thanks to that thick design, it provides a solid grip on the table. I don't want to nitpick but would have loved to see metal stands. Anyway, the distance between the two stands is 55 inches which will be helpful for those planning to table mount the TV. And here are the dimensions of the 65 inch, 58 inches in length and 34 inches in height. This will be helpful if you plan to wall mount the TV. Moving to the back. So it's made of metal, very well built and you can spot the power input port towards the left while all the rest of the ports are on the right and some are below. On the side starting from the top, one USB-A port, there's a headphone jack, three HDMI ports and another USB-A port. At the bottom is Ethernet, Optical, AV Composite and Antenna. Now, most often used ports like USB and HDMI are on the side for quick and easy access, which is really good. All HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1 and the HDMI 2 port supports eARC so you can connect it to soundbar or home theater system for digital audio output. Then the unit we have received came with an IPS panel. Though we cannot confirm if other sizes also have the same, but the simplest way to know is to gently knock on the panel. If no light emits, it's an IPS panel. If there is some light that emits, it's a VA panel. Though it shouldn't really matter because the viewing experience will be very identical. Alright, let's have a quick look at the specifications. So we get a 4K IPS panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. 2GB RAM with 8GB internal storage, 60Hz refresh rate, Dolby Vision and HDR10 support, MEMC support, Bluetooth and Miracast support, 30 watt sound output with DTS Virtual X, then it's running Patchwall and the Google TV OS. Alright, coming to the main deal, the display. So I was in awe the moment I turned this baby on. The Vivid Picture Engine makes sure the colors are punchy yet don't feel oversaturated. The tuning is just perfect. Also specially worth mentioning is the clarity and detail that truly stands out. Very impressive. When it comes to brightness, Xiaomi never shares that info and neither am I going to use a lux meter to give you inaccurate numbers. But 
what I can show you is a 4K HDR video on this TV that provides adequate brightness and clarity. Check that out. Now here's a dark scene from a very popular Hollywood movie during the day in a well-lit room. It's so clear with every detail clearly visible. Trust me, if you're considering buying this TV, brightness is something you don't have to worry about at all. Here's a demo video showing the contrast, deep blacks on one side and the brightest whites on the other. Blacks are pitch perfect with no white trails and the whites also really stand out. Judge for yourself. Then the other plus point is that this TV comes with an IPS panel which provides brilliant viewing angles. No shift in color or tones, even if you sit on the sides, the clarity and colors will look just the same. Then there's also MEMC support which provides more fluid viewing experience, especially when you're watching documentaries and sports content. The fun of watching a favorite match with this amount of smoothness on such a huge display is like being at the stadium. Amazing! Then we also tested the setup box and here are some SD channels. I must say, the upscaling is superb. It's so clear that I had to double check if this is an HD channel. SD looks really, really good. If you watch a lot of HD channels from your setup box, you're truly going to enjoy the experience. And finally, here are some HD channels and they look just perfect. The colors and the clarity have even more depth. Superb. Then we also played 4K videos from our pen drive and all the content played without any lag or problem. All popular formats are also supported, so throw whatever you got on your local drive and it'll work without any hiccups. The Xiaomi TV X series also comes with Dolby Vision support. And since Netflix is on board, what better way to test that? And here you can find tons of supported content. You can also spot the logo. We played the content and it looks really, really good. You can adjust from the picture settings to Dolby Vision Dark or Light as per your preference. Check that out. It's bright, it's vivid, it's such an eye candy. Enjoy it to the fullest. Coming to the OS. Well, it's the standard Google TV OS, but looks even prettier on this huge display. Full screen carousel of trending content, then top picks for you, apps row that have Netflix, Prime videos, YouTube, and a lot more. And of course, you can rearrange these apps as per your preference. Then further below, more recommended content from multiple OTT apps. They're divided into categories. Overall, the interface is smooth and very well optimized. If you go into the settings, we can see it's running Android TV 11. Going to the storage, out of 8 GB, 4.3 GB is available, out of which 2.9 GB is free. Now, that might not seem a lot, but enough to install most OTT apps, but probably not enough for games. Like we installed as for 8, but it said not enough space. And even if we deleted all the apps, still there wasn't enough space to play that game. But still, don't worry, you can play some basic games like we installed Beach Buggy. However, remember, some of these games might need a gamepad. The gaming experience was really good. Very smooth with no drop frames at all. Further in the app section, you can download more apps and games. All popular OTT apps as well as multimedia tools are available to download. Let's come to my favorite part of Xiaomi TVs. You guessed it, Patchwork. So for those who don't know, Patchwall is a content aggregated platform where there is always something new to explore. Firstly, it looks stunning. You can see recommended content, India top 10, trending content and so much more. Further on the top, it's divided into categories. There's movies, there's TV shows. In the music tab, you can see some content and it comes with YouTube integration. Directly play your songs from here. Then live tab to discover live channels, consist of news, music, and so much more. And finally, a kids section, which is really, really handy for kids. Xiaomi has almost perfected Patchwork. It's my go-to space to discover and find new content. And now they have taken it a step further with Patchwork Plus. Here you can find 200 plus free to air live channels. And towards the left, you can see it's subdivided into movies, news, lifestyle, music, sports and so much more. You can also add your favorites list so you don't have to keep searching. Really, really cool. Now I wouldn't call this a setup box replacement, but moreover a free channel platform. 
However, it's an excellent initiative from Xiaomi and the best part is that Xiaomi Plus app will be available for all existing Xiaomi and Redmi TVs. So cool. When it comes to features, you also get Bluetooth support to connect your favorite Bluetooth earphones or headphones and enjoy audio wirelessly. Then there's also Miracast support, so you can seamlessly mirror your Android phones to the TV. There's absolutely no lag since it connects over direct Wi-Fi. In fact, you can even mirror videos from the phone and they play perfectly. Then it comes with Google Assistant on the remote, so you can ask it for the weather, general trivia questions and even ask it to launch apps. Very convenient. Coming to the audio. So the TV comes with 30 watt sound output with Dolby Audio, DTS X and DTS Virtual X support. Time for a quick demo. Uh, 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 I'm okay. So make okay. sure you go to the audio yeah. settings oh, and turn yeah. on okay. DTS Bass Enhancement, Virtualizer and Dialogue Clarity. See the difference. Uh. I'm not alone. Wow. So the moment you enable that DTS Virtual X, it takes the audio experience to the next level. Trust me, even 30 watt speakers sound like 100 watts. Firstly, it gets loud enough with no distortion even at high volume. The audio is overall very balanced and will surely impress you. Now, if I had to summarize my impressions, the Xiaomi TV X series is an excellent value for money smart TV. I only wish it came with more storage, but anyway, the rest of it packs the punch. It comes with good build quality, excellent picture quality, all the apps you need, there's Miracast support, there's Patchwall and now even Patchwall Plus. The Xiaomi TV X series is already on sale, it's available in 4 sizes, there's 43 inch, there's 50 inch, there's 55 inch and of course the 65 inch. You can see the prices for all, I'll share the links below in the description, if you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. A full review where I'll share my long term user experience to follow soon. If there are any questions, if you want me to cover something, do mention them down in the comments and we'll surely probably do that in a full review, probably even a gaming review. Don't forget to like and share, until next time, cheers.